Welcome back! Y'all, this is straight out of a sci-fi movie. Scientists have just revived a creature that's been extinct for over 12,000 years. That's right, the dire wolf is officially back. Stick around as we break down how this groundbreaking de-extinction happened, what it means for science, and where these legendary pups are now. The dire wolf made iconic thanks to Game of Thrones, once ruled North and South America before vanishing about 12,000 years ago. But now, thanks to the brilliant minds at Colossal Biosciences, three pups have been brought back to life, and their names, Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi. Scientists used DNA from fossilized remains, including a 13,000-year-old tooth from Ohio and a 72,000-year-old skull from Idaho. This ancient DNA was carefully reassembled and combined with gray wolf DNA, their closest living relative. The process involved somatic cell nuclear transfer, which is fancy talk for taking the DNA from a fossil and inserting it into a donor egg cell. Those embryos were placed into surrogates, and in October 2024, three healthy dire wolf pups were born. And don't worry, these wolves aren't roaming the streets. They're being raised on a 2,000-acre ecological preserve right here in the U.S., where they're thriving in a secure, wild-like environment. Colossal isn't stopping there. Last month, they made headlines for engineering a woolly mouse using mammoth DNA. And yep, their ultimate goal is to bring back the woolly mammoth by 2028. With over 500x more genome coverage than ever before, the dire wolf revival isn't just a breakthrough, it's a historic moment for science, genetics, and maybe even the future of conservation. So what do you think? Is this the dawn of a new era in science, or are we playing with prehistoric fire? Let us know in the comments! And don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe for more mind-blowing updates, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a wild story. Thanks for watching, stay curious, and we'll catch you in the future!